Hey there, and welcome to a quick instructional video on setting up and scheduling your final exam in Examity. So first off, this is only for BCOS students. Um, so if you are an HCO student, which means you're a full-time enrolled student with us, you can email me to find out the instructions. But for BCOS, that means you're a part-time student and you have a different school of record, um, then yeah, you're gonna be doing your final exam through Examity. So I think I wanna start off with just going over how the test is gonna look. So I'm gonna open up the test worksheet, or sorry, I say test final exam. Um, but I said that because the final exam is gonna be the same template as the test. The only thing that's different is that the final exam is gonna be three hours. So please be prepared for that. It's just because there's additional questions on the um, final exam. And like you've seen this before in the course, you show your written work here for each of the multiple choice questions. And then at the very end, there's also a formula sheet provided. So you're able to use this formula sheet for everything. And it's the same formula sheet that you have in the course. So it should be familiar to you. And um, should you require it, you can use it as much as you want. This is the only thing that you can bring to your final exam. You can have no other paper. Um, you're not going to need your own formula sheet because there's a formula sheet on this one. So your supervisor for the proctored exam is going to want to see that you've printed this off and that this is all that you have with you. If I go back, um, I'm assuming that you probably want to know um, what this final exam is worth. Um, so the final exam is worth a minimum of 30% of your grade. However, if you go to the policies and procedures, um, there is a proctored exam policy. And I do want to see that your final exam is within 15% of your test marks. Uh, we don't supervise anything throughout the course. So if you've cheated, that's an unfortunate thing to do. And it will hurt you here at the final exam. Because if you did have a 95% in the course, we're looking to see that you can score about 80% or higher on the final exam. And so if you've got a huge difference between your test marks and your final exam marks, then you can see here that the final exam becomes um, more and more heavily weighted. So if you've done your best throughout the entire course, you're gonna be fine. There is an examinee guide um, here as well that I want to walk you through really quickly. So Examity does live proctoring. So they're, proctoring is basically another word for supervising. So they're going to be watching you doing your final exam and checking to make sure that um, you're doing it um, all on your own. So you have to create a profile. You'll be able to navigate and access your exams, schedule it, and then take it. So to start off, you're going to be doing it through Moodle, through your course. And you need to have Google Chrome. And you're going to need to have your pop-up blocker turned off. Um, so if you do a pop-up blocker, you just have to either have it on or off. Um, so that's that. Um, you're going to need to have some sort of computer that has a built-in or external webcam, microphone, and speaker. So if you are not able to do this on the laptop or computer that you have, you may need to borrow one from someone that you know. And um, that's just something to be aware of right now as you're looking ahead at the final exam. Um, you're going to need to create a profile. And if you have multiple courses with BCOS, um, then I'm assuming that you'll have multiple exams to schedule through here. Um, but if my course is the only course that you have, then you're going to set up all your contact information. You're going to need ID. Um, obviously, I've met you at the beginning of the course for the Skype intro meeting, but um, they are going to need to verify that it is you writing your final exam. So they're going to need to see some photo ID. Um, if you've got a driver's license or um, a school card or a passport, anything that's got your face and name on it. So once you've set that all up and your profile is created, um, you can look and see your dashboard for your exams. 
So this course only has one exam. There's no midterm or anything. It's just a final. Um, I know that um, other people that use Examity, they might have all of their tests um, and a midterm and a final all through there. We only have our final exam set up through Examity. So you're going to be able to schedule your final exam in the app or like on the website. And I think they need at least a 24 hour um, notice. So you'll be able to schedule your exam around your time. You can provide a, a day and a time. And it's super awesome because in the past, the final exam was always like at a set time. It was paper based. Um, and now you got to do it anytime, anywhere. So that's a huge benefit to you. And you're able to work it around your schedule. So the final exam does have a um, password. So you're not gonna be able to access the final exam um, until you meet with your proctor online. And they're gonna do a system check with you. And when you actually open it, there's an extension um, that you're gonna be downloading for Examity. So you'll be able to do all of this right from the Examity website. Then you connect with your proctor and they'll help you with everything else. And that's pretty much it for Examity. Um, it's a nice streamlined process. Um, I do not want you um, scheduling your exam until you've gotten to um, the last chapter and you've submitted your notes. So as long as you've submitted your notes, for the last chapter, I know that you're close to the end. Um, you might be doing this project, um, maybe not, um, but then you have the assignment and the test still ahead. So at the point where you've you've handed in your notes, that's sort of the time where I'm hoping that you can um, begin scheduling your final exam and getting that ready. So um, I have the final exam link I'm hidden right now, um, but I will be posting it. Um, I think I can actually do that right now. I'm logged in as a student. Um, but ultimately, at the very end, uh, when you do get to the final exam, you'll be able to do it right here. Um, it's going to be at the very end of the page, and then you'll be able to do it. So I'm excited. I obviously. Um, celebrate whenever I have a student that um, gets to the end of the course and is ready to cross the finish line. So here I am. There's a high five waiting for you um, as you cross. And if you have any questions about the final exam and just anything whatsoever, let me know and I'll help you out. So best of luck and take care.